Nine News is your local election headquarters, and tonight we're covering all of the big state and local races that you need to know about. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Andy Morgan. And I'm Natasia Paloma. Tonight, one of the biggest races in the borderland is the race for Las Cruces mayor. And right now, it looks like there are two front runners. You can see Cassandra Gandara is leading the race. Um, we don't have that correct number in. If our producer can go ahead and update that, uh, we will have that for you in just a moment. That is right, but we're going to go ahead and move on now. That uh, crowded field of candidates looking to fill that seat left empty, of course, by Ken Miyagashima, who has served as Las Cruces mayor for 16 years. That's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar is live from Las Cruces on more on, uh, with more on the voting system in Las Cruces and how a winner will be determined. Andy Natasha, as you just mentioned, the race for the new mayor of the city of Las Cruces features seven candidates. And while unofficial results indicate that Cassandra Gandara has a lead over the other candidates, she would have to earn the majority vote in order uh, under the new uh, ranking voting system, meaning that candidates may very well be waiting for a while before official results. Um, for instance, this year we have seven mayoral candidates. You can rank anywhere from one to seven. You do not have to rank them all. It's in order of your preference. And then as um, all the votes are tallied at the end of the night, what we start doing is that we start eliminating the lowest scoring candidates. Um, and so that's what we call instant runoff. The city of Las Cruces adopted the ranked choice voting system back in 2019. The Las Cruces city clerk explaining that ranked choice voting is cost savings for the city as it will not need to have a runoff election. In order for a candidate to win the election, they must acquire a majority vote. If there's no clear majority winner by the end of election day, the ranked choice vote will then have to be applied. Rivera describing this as an instant runoff. Um, whoever's the lowest candidate at the end of their, the night, whoever voted for them first, their second votes will be redistributed to the remaining six candidates. And so it works its way up that way until we get 50% plus one. KTSM also speaking with a Doña Ana County clerk, Amanda Lopez Askin, regarding ranked choice voting who describes what it achieves for voters. Um, so that basically means that your community is, uh, the majority of them who are voting are selecting the candidates uh, to lead. With a much anticipated mayoral race deciding a new leader for the city of Las Cruces after 16 years of service from incumbent Ken Miyagashima, Lopez Askin saying that official results may not come on election night. And believe me, we are anxious to get the results out. But with the new limitations on how long we can stay, we literally are required by law to uh, stop the counting at 11 o'clock. We are hopeful that it will all be done and that people will have answers tonight, um, at least the unofficial answers, but we just don't know. There's a lot of factors and variables that play into that. If a clear winner doesn't emerge by 11 p.m. tonight, they will have to resume counting tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Therefore, tonight's results may very well not be official. Reporting live from Las Cruces, I'm Jesus Baltasar. Well, back in the Lone Star